we'll start by drawing a line. Next, we will take our compass. It doesn't really matter how big your radius is, just so long as you define, draw an arc that defines a line segment. This arc and these points will be defined as point A and point B. Now we can either take that same arc, which works, the same radius that you used, hopefully, if it is bigger than the center. That's important that this arc radius is bigger than half of that line. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller just so it fits in this video. And now I'm going to draw my first arc starting from point A and now my second arc starting from point B. You see these two arcs create two intersection points. Point C here doesn't really matter if C is above or below, and D, just so long as we've labeled them. Now we can see that this arc and this line segment AB can be bisected exactly into by line segment C and D. This line segment 1 is equivalent to this line segment 2. So here, 1 equals 2. We can also see here, this is a right angle. Some of the paper, and I'm making a reference line here at the top of this tool. What I will do, what's pretty cool, is this tool works where you have these two hinges that keep this bar always parallel to the lower bar. So I'm just going to move this up, and now I've got another line. And I will draw along that to create that other line, and that will be your active line segment. Now you can see we have two lines, and these are entirely parallel to each other. The next thing that I want to do is I'm going to draw an arc doesn't really matter where the center line is at this point. We're just drawing an arc segment. This is a little bit large. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't matter. We're just drawing an arc. There. Now we've defined both a line segment and an arc. And by defining this line segment and the intersection here and here on A and B, we have line segment AB, and we have chord AB. To determine where this triangle is situated in relationship to uh, this arc and these lines, I'm going to use my 45 degree triangle, and I will align that with the bottom line. making sure that it's absolutely on that line and that this 45 degree angle line intersects with point A. Now I will draw a line along that side and I'll repeat that but in mirror. Making sure that everything lines up and nothing is crooked. B is exactly, well, not quite. So there we have our 45, our 90 degree triangle, 45, 45, 90. So we can put 90 degrees, and this angle is 45, as well as this angle, 45. So this point here is C. Now, using the same baseline that we have, we can align our triangle between C 
using our triangle along our parallel baseline. Scoop that dude over. And when you have checked everything, you draw a vertical line through C. The intersection point here is point D. And here we see that chord AB has been bisected. This is point E with point E. And line segment AB has been bisected by DC. So AB divided by 2 equals AD or DB. We have our chord AB and AE is equal to EB. Coincidentally, line segment DC is perpendicular to line segment AB. We will start with any given angle. Doesn't really matter which angle we use. We'll draw an acute angle here. And here we have angle A. We will take our compass and we will draw an arc using A that will intersect the two sides of this angle. We will define those line segments by naming them A, B, and A, C. We can take that same radius, let's take a smaller radius, and just like we have divided a line previously, we can do the same thing here, strike a chord with C is the center of that radius, and we'll use the same radius, strike another chord. This line, or this point that we've defined here, is D. And all we have to do to bisect this triangle, or this uh, angle here, is understand that D lies directly in the center of, this, of that angle. So we line up A and D with our triangle. We can draw a line segment AD which bisects chord BC at point E. 